Hi, now it's come on. Uh, so, good evening, everybody. Once again, I am beginning uh, session three. I mentioned 8th of July 2021. I hope you all had time to practice, rehearse some of the basic Konkani. I, I got a couple of queries, and out of that, the attempt which was done by one of the participants, Neville, was uh, just awesome. Congratulations, Neville. Your homework was excellent. Thank you, sir. Thank you very much. Yeah. <laughs> 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 ah, here I get uh, uh, that I, I, I get the confirmation that somebody else also has participated. Ultimately, uh, this should ensure that we are able to understand and converse to a little extent in Amchi Bas. Amchi Bas is our language. Amchi is our language. Bas. Okay. That I have not mentioned though. So, session three. Uh, the first word they have mentioned is Aik. Now, Aik is listen or hear. I'm urging you to hear. Aotumka Aikonku Santa. So I am saying I keys listen. You can address this to somebody uh, who, who, whom you want to convey, saying that you listen to me. You can say Aik Maka or you can say Maka Aik. That means you are advising somebody, you are urging somebody to listen to you. Maka is you, uh, me, I is listen or hear. Okay. For example, I have given a couple of a few examples. Maka I listen to me or hear me out. Okay. Maka I also can mean hear me out. Now, uh, please note in Konkani, unlike in the language English, the inference, in what we infer can differ on the basis of the way we present our word or sentence. Uh, in the due course, you will realize that slight deviation from pronunciation in Konkani means something slightly different. Okay, that I will uh, as I proceed in the class today or in the forthcoming classes, I will highlight that. So, I is listen. I is listen or hear. Okay. Maka I listen to me. Taka I Maka is me. Maka. For me. For me. So, but here we are using Maka I listen to me. Taka Aik is listen to him. Taka, Taka is him. Listen to him. Taka Aik. Now for a lady, we say Tika Aik. Tika is for a lady we address. Tika Aik. And Tanka Aik. Tanka is listen to them. See, Aik is listen. Maka Aik, listen to me. Taka Aik, listen to him. Tika Aik, listen to her. Tanka Aik, listen to them. Okay. So, I'll proceed on the next uh, word. Shikoi. Shikoi. See, I have used the word, I mean, I have written Konkani word in English script. So, I am using the wordings, uh, though not appropriate for the sake of pronunciation. I, I have mentioned Shikoi. Shikoi, actually it is used as Shikoi. Shikoi. But Shikoi I have written for the ease of grasping it. Shikoi. Shikoi. Shikai is teach. Shikai. For example, if somebody wants to 
teach someone he wants you want to tell somebody teach him you say taka shikai taka shikai teach her taka shikai or as a teacher i'm telling somebody is telling me to tell the students tanka shikai that is teach them tanka is plural teach them taka shikai tika shikai tanka shikai now you, you you even if you say it shikoi that's okay but when you uh, speed it up or when you present appropriately it is shikai okay okay so somebody is saying shikoi maka shikai that is teach me somebody is saying so for that i am answering shikaita shikaita is an assurance i am telling i will teach shikaita somebody is asking me to teach so somebody is saying shikai i will answer how shikaita i will teach how shikaita okay then i have used a common word which is we use it uh, a number of times is mostu now mostu is a quantifying okay mostu is lots uh you can use it arbitrarily like this now earlier i said shikai so somebody is saying teach me lots so i can say mostu shikai so or mostu shikai ta i can say i will teach you lots mostu shikai ta so mostu is lots okay it's quantify magnify mostu shikai ta okay and then uh, friends just note the next word again a common word sang now i have spelt it in english s a a n g sang is tell now again i repeat to sang to sang you tell sang is tell okay uh now somebody might point out sang means it's a beans you know bean vegetable beans it's true but here the context is sang is tell to sang you tell okay okay now i am also touching upon uh, i have not written though but to sang okay you can say nerin sangle sangle would be uh, neri told neri neri told you know sangle neri sangle okay that means uh, neri told sang is tell tu sang you tell uh, okay that i will continue with the next word it is borai no borai is right you know uh, to your homework borai write your homework borai is right borai is right okay and the next word is no i'll touch upon again i'll give you an example of borai is a uh, maka letter borai maka letter borai that means you write me a letter okay letter i'm using the word in english maka letter borai actually for letter also there is a word in konkani known as kagat but anyway let us not complicate Borai is right. Yeah. Uh, one of my student has not muted. Anyway, is it continue? So Borai is right. Okay. Now, any doubts regarding these words? How to utilize? Please feel free in the last twenty minutes to ask me. Okay. Now the next word is Aikale. 
I kale. I kale is I heard. You know, you you uh, I heard. I kale. What it implies is I heard. I kale. Maka I kale. Maka is for me. I heard it. So I kale is heard. I kale is heard. Now I'll ask the question. Tuka I kalengi. Tuka I kalengi. You know, I'm asking a question. Did you hear? I kale is heard. Maka I kale. I heard. Taka I kale. He heard. Taka I kale. He heard. Tika I kale. She heard. Tika I kale. Now plural for many of them. Tankai kale. They heard. Or they all heard. You know. Tankai kale. Now, still to elaborate appropriately, everyone heard Tanka Somesh Tanka Ikale. Now, here I use the word Somesh Tang. Now, Somesh Tang is magnifying, you know, all of them. Tanka Somesh Tanka Ikale. But uh, the same Somesh Tang can be simplified and uh, in a simple term also the same meaning is conveyed by another word by name sakkad samest and sakkad is almost similar meaning yeah so uh, samest uh, sakkad is even can imply saying that it is everything everything you see so, uh, sorry, Samest is all or everything, all or everything. Sakkad is also all or everything. Appro uh, approximate meaning is similar, but it is used in slightly different contexts. We can't say saying that uh, uh, Sakkad uh sakkad aile like that somest aile is appropriate actually aile is they came all of them came you know when we say all of them came to the class say somest classic aile everyone came to the class or we can also say sakkad classic aile everyone came to the class but uh, in a literary meaning, Somest is slightly, uh, uh, you know, the context is in a uh, slightly uh, classical term, I must say, Somest, where Sakkad is slightly sounds like a uh, slang, but it is commonly used. Okay. So, I repeat, I kale is I heard. I have elaborated example, Maka I kale. I heard. Maka I kale, I heard. Taka I kale, he heard. You know. And uh, Tika I kale, she heard. Tanka I kale, they, all, they heard. Tanka Sumesh Tanka I kale. Everyone, all of them heard, you know. Sumesh, that is all of them. Sumesh Tanka. Or Sakkad Ankai Kale is also similar, every, everyone, but Sakkad can be also used for everything. Sakkad Samazale, that day I said, you know, one of our participants was saying, Sakkad Sarkenzale, you know, everything became all right. You see, so that is the meaning of Samest, but I hope. This is one of the commonest word which I said, I kale, I heard, is, I hope you have got it, because you'll be using it commonly. I kale, you, you might ask somebody, did you hear me? You'll simply say, I kale ngi. You, you might simply ask this word in a different way, simply in a single, singular term, you say, I kale ngi. did you hear? 
Did you hear me? It implies the same. I kalengi. Yeah. Now, now samesta. I have mentioned uh, slightly. That's what I think. I gave the example. Samesta kai kalle, sakra kai kalle. Everyone heard the same thing. Here samest. Or there is one more word implying, but I have mentioned. Somebody can point out why did you say sarvank? You know, serve. Serve is also everyone. Somest serve. Serve means everyone. Sakkad is also everything or everyone are similar meanings, but used in different contexts. Yeah. Okay. now this is one of the commonest word that we use in konkani in day to day language na na means not there na means not there see uh i'll give you uh a uh, uh, common meaning he is not there how to tell He is not there. To na, to na, or she is not there. Let us say, want to say that that lady is not there, that girl is not there. Te na, or for a lady we say ti na, for a girl we say te na, for a lady we say ti na. Na means not there. now somebody can ask uh, in konkani tu je kade chocolate asa gi you know somebody can ask some me do you have a chocolate tu je kade chocolate asa gi so i'll simply say na i'll simply say na i don't have chocolate so i say na or elaborately i can say na mu je kade chocolate na na mujhe mujhe i i don't have or not there na is i don't have or not there the same thing slightly different naka naka means don't want you see na means not there naka means don't want mata naka i don't want na mujhe kada chocolate na naka do you want to eat i can simply abruptly say naka i don't want to eat it implies naka i don't want i don't want naka but appropriately we can i can say maka naka i don't want maka naka okay uh i can say uh do you do you want to take vaccine in konkani if i were to ask somebody do you want to take vaccine i'll say uh let us say um, let's say peter do you want to take vaccine in english Uh, in konkani peter to vaccine getai gi and peter answers me saying that he doesn't want to take he says makanaka i don't want okay so naka i don't want okay nai see na naka nai Uh, nai means n a i n i have written so the pronunciation is again nasal nai means you know it's something like opposite of voi you know you have already learned voi yes nai means no not not actually appropriately it is not nai uh for example i'll say uh somebody is asking is this your car 
in konkani yen tujhe car gi so i will answer it's not my car in simple terms in konkani and say nahi ye mujhe car nahi i it is not my car nahi so it is approximately the opposite of woi woi nahi woi is yes nahi is no okay now there is another thing which is slightly different it in first different nahi i said no hot nahi now this is common you know we say not to get into uh, uh, any sort of uh, obligation i say hot nahi you know not to get into obligation i say hot nahi now here the meaning nahi hot nahi hot is actually big you know and hot nahi infers although the word is nahi hot nahi you say but it infers it's all right you know this is like different so don't get uh, bogged down uh, the words the its presentations will convey different meaning in different contexts okay but don't worry broader meaning if you understand nahi is not there or no 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 you know it's the opposite of woi is nahi okay okay now uh the next word that i have highlighted here is ka single you know you know single letter pronounced as ka ka is eat we simply convey if the single letter we convey a lot of meaning to a person ka but appropriately to tell we say tum ka tum ka is you eat ka is eat ka is eat tum ka you eat now i slightly differ it tum ka you eat that tum tum here it in first we are i'm pointing out to a particular specific thing and i say take up so i am saying you eat that so kai is eat kele is i ate no i ate kele tu ka you eat tu is you ka take ka you eat that ten ka now i'll ask a question to somebody did you eat tu en kelai gi kelai gi did you eat did you eat kelai gi so he can he can simply say kauna kauna now i said ka is eat kele is eat kauna i didn't eat you know i didn't eat single word i can say how and kauna or kauna see there is a slight difference ka kele kauna i didn't eat you see now slightly difference a uh, different word kaije means must eat i want to eat you know how uh, and kaije i want to eat kaije how 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 and kaije how and kaije or i can say how how could zai but anyway kaije means must eat or i must tell i'll tell a child you have to eat you have to eat tu en khai je you have to eat tu en khai je you have to eat ata one example uh, khele is like 
<laughs> like banana is also called uh, in konkani as kele okay but uh, here i am the word i am using the word kele kele is khai you know i ate kele kele if i were to say kele what did you eat in konkani kale kele i will say kele kele i ate banana you know kele is banana kele i ate okay or i will say i want to eat banana let us say kele khaije i want to eat banana kele khaije or i am advising somebody you should eat banana kele khaije it is similar kele khaije or apple khaije eat apple you should eat apple apple khaije but the next see there is a slight different meaning when we say khaunche see for a meaning in uh, uh, for a meal that is jav in konkani is jawan okay when we say jawan that is meals you know meals uh, either lunch or dinner which are where we say jawan we don't say jawan khaije we don't say eat meal in konkani we say jawan jevije we say we say jawan jawan which is a meal whether it's lunch or dinner jawan jevije i have to eat I have to eat meal jawan jevije we don't say jawan khaije we don't say jawan khaije whereas apple khaije kele khaije whereas for meal we say jawan jevije okay so this is again a common terminology term uh, common phrase that is used okay now i continue with the a phrase you are telling somebody not to eat you are telling somebody not to eat and you are sort of commanding ordering you are saying kaunk nozo you shouldn't eat you must not eat kaunk kaunk nozo don't eat or you must not eat you know kaunk nozo no nozo means should not the single word nozo means should not it's some sort of uh, prohibited you know that way nozo you should not for example korung nozo we should not do it korung nozo means you should not do it you know so nozo means it is inferring that you should not must not okay kaunk nozo is you must not eat friends i have to continue with the words because once we have picked up the common words which is a conversational words then we will be able to make match and talk in few sentences so my endeavor is again to continue with couple of no more words today the next word i'm highlighting is polai see i have spelled out in the notes for example p o l h a i i have used the word h is because the the pronunciation is l polai we don't say polai we say polai polai you know l l polai polai means c and now when we speak this word slightly fast it sounds this way polai we we say polai 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 c now for example i am saying you see tu polai see i am just saying you see is t 
itu boleh ya yeah? so pole is again uh in different contexts it slightly differs taka pole now uh, what i infer is you see him taka pole now taka here when i say use the word pole it can be for both a girl or a boy okay taka pole so you can say you see her or you see him taka pole now for example uh, we have this uh, sort of nasty habit to point out a finger of somebody who's who is oddly dressed or oddly presented herself or himself we say look at her you know look at her or look at him look at him so we use the word in this context in konkani taka pole you see him or you see her taka pole yeah or the same word to pole you go and see you go you see you know you see to pole ha to pole you see or somebody is asking don't see okay so that same pole we say pole inaka don't see tum pole inaka you don't see you know you don't see tum pole inaka you don't see or i am saying you see tum pole or simply say pole you know or you know jokingly we also say pole pole we repeat that pole pole means see see you know we are repeating see see you know we we might be inferring see what is up to you know so to say see see pole pole you see that so pole is see pole inaka is don't see pole pole inaka you know pronunciation is pole and pole inaka uh, there is same word if i were to i'm just saying give you a different meaning pole is also in konkani dosa you know dosa masala dosa so um, plain dosa is also called as pole in konkani but uh, uh, you know pronunciation is almost similar and the same word pole if i don't put the word, letter h there pole pole means cheek pole is cheek pole is dosa dosa and pole is see is a single similar word pole pole and uh, pole in akai is don't see yeah uh well uh, ladies and gentlemen now i have uh, continued with this uh, you will be receiving these notes though uh, but here i have continued pole ita see pole pole ita pole ita now pole ita is uh, both a girl and a boy can use the man or a woman can use the word expression pole ita is i'll see i'm saying for example let us say two people are contradicting and you say somebody is saying pole inaka is let us say mother is telling the child pole inaka don't see but the child is uh, revolting and saying pole ita i'll see mother is saying the child pole inaka but the child is reacting saying pole ita i'll see so pole ita is i'll see how then pole ita i will see that you know how then then is that pole ita or 
पळय जे आय मस सी पळय जे इज आय मस सी नाव दिस कॅन बी चॅलेंजिंग समटाइम्स यु नो समबडी यु आर थ्रेटनिंग समबडी हा पळयता आय सी यु नो यु आर थ्रेटनिंग समबडी दॅट ऑल्सो कॅन बी द or somebody is giving you a challenge and you say maka phalai je i want i must see you don't want to confirm something and use the similar word phalai je ah you say somebody is asking can you finish this job tu me he kaam kariyeti tu me he kaam kariyeti can you do this job to me kaam kariyeti so the answer the opposite person is saying pulai je i must see you know it infers that whether you can do that i'll see whether i can do that you know pulai je maka tem pulai je that is i want to see that maka tem pulai je so when i use the words maka te how these are the repetitions of earlier words so i hope you will grasp these common words you know common words okay now the same polai j that is i must see or let's see polai j you say polai a polai a means let's see polai a you know polai a let's see Uh, um, let us see konkan samuday bhavan padaya let us see let see konkan samuday bhavan you know kc a concave property konkan samuday you want to see you say you are telling somebody ami konkan samuday bhavan padaya padaya is let see let's go and see you know padaya or you give the same polaya you give in the similar parlance what we use in english let's see you know somebody is asking you something which is little uh, difficult to uh, achieve or difficult give difficult to you know accomplish or difficult to assure you you give the diplomatic word polaya let us see polaya means let us see okay ami tem polaya let's see that means it's specific i said no konkan samudaya bhavan polaya let us go and see konkan samudaya bhavan now i also infer uh polaile polaile is i saw polaile is i saw is somebody is asking did you see in konkuni tu em pole lengi and i answer i saw pole len i saw how em pole len you know somebody is asking me did you see in konkuni is asking tu em pole lengi and i say how em pole len i saw you see i saw so this is again a very common balance now uh slight difference polai la means i have seen okay don't bother even if you grasp everything here because in the due course you will pick up automatically now same konkan samuday bhavan polai lengi somebody is asking and i say how am polai la i saw konkan samuday that in first polai la how am konkan samuday bhavan polai la i have seen konkan samuday bhavan uh or i i sent you a message sms message did you see i want to ask in konkan to my sms polai lengi or tu mai muji message podai digi did you see my message and 
he says have em podayla i have seen you see i have seen or i sent a document i sent a document on email to a email podayengi did you see the email and i say have email podayla you know i have seen the email okay actually more appropriately there is we say i read the mail that i will not confuse now i have i'm just saying i have seen the mail okay how am podela so ladies and gentlemen uh, for today uh, these are the commonest words that i have uh, brought to your you know notice and for your learning so we will now open up we will now open up for discussions you can also touch upon which is slightly uh, not connected to the to the hitherto covered lessons but that's okay even if it is not uh, uh, covered in the lessons that's okay whatever you have heard and you you have uh, you want to ask something which which is bugging you about konkani want to ask anything that also you can put it across i'll try to answer so uh, friends now go ahead uh, now ajay i request you to open up let them unmute maybe i don't know and they can ask me questions dari yes please it will here i have one yeah. question on yeah you use the word samestham yeah. and sakrank yeah my question is you yeah. you said you can use the word samestham yeah. uh, what about sakrank apayet ye yeah instead of yeah. samestham apayet ye yeah what is the nuance there between the two sakrank yeah. and samestham now samestham is now so from a podium or from a platform you are addressing in your konkani speech for example uh sakran sounds like although it will convey the message but appropriate would be samestham now uh, you must have seen in konkani ros 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 is a you know uh, a, a celebration before the wedding right right, right. so what the the head of the house yazman yazman is the head of the house he says somestam kuda kaile everyone here i offer water you know somestam kuda kaile jevna kuda kai there we don't say sakdan kuda kaile you see so uh, sakdan ki is also correct but and it is commonly used somestam ki is used slightly on a refined manner uh in a sort of uh, uh, you know presentable in the yeah in the functions when you address some uh, some stuff yeah 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 go ahead please yeah uh, colin yeah colin you have a question Yes, please. Yeah. Yeah, Colleen, go ahead. Auntie's mic is off. Hello. Auntie's mic is off. Madam Colleen Shanoi, you have a question. Go ahead, ask me. Ajay, can you put her mic on? No, I can't. I can't do that. She only can unmute herself. Yeah, uh, but she has raised the hand. Okay, some uh, anybody else? Neville is there. Neville, Neville is yeah. Yeah, yeah, I'm Neville. fine. What's now? How do you say uh, I'm you fine? Neville, thank you. How borosa? Or how how borosa? devorekuru you know devorekuru is a elaborate but that is the most appropriate word to say thank you in konkani actually devorekuru let god bless or let god do well we say we thank that way devorekuru uh, 
actually another word we use which is kannada word we say dhanyavad thank you dhanyavad but devore guru is the common word now your question nevil how borasa how are you how borasa i am good i am fine i am good how borasa thank you devore guru i hope you got it nevil yeah i got it uh, thank you you say uh, at the initial yeah. question uh, statements you made sometimes it's good to know the answer yeah. so that you can carry on now how are you i am yes. fine thank yes. you so next word you when yeah. you meet a person where are you staying i am staying in bombay yeah. so so that you feel you know you're talking in bombay where are you staying yeah. now where are you staying tu koi raut hai tu koi tu tu is you koi where Rautai, where do you stay? Tum koi Rautai, where do you stay? Tum koi Rautai. The answer could be, I stay in Bombay. How Bombay Rauta? How How is me Bombay Rauta? Tum koi Rautai, how Bombay Rauta? Yeah. Thank you. Got it, Nevel? Yeah. Thank you very much. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Colleen, uh, you're still not mute. I mean, unmuted. Uh, one okay. more question. Go you ahead. Said somebody else. Yesterday, you said also the same word "sakkar." You used it in a different context. What is that? Yeah. Is the meaning of "sakkar"? Now, uh, I'll give you one inference. See, we have May. I mean, uh, September. It is uh, Saint Mary's feast. Okay. Saint Mary's feast. there is one konkani hymn i don't know whether you have attended where the children you know throw flowers at mother mary statue and we say so kad sangata melia ya so kad is everyone okay. you know it is used in that context for mother mary we are saying it's all gather together so kad sangata me let's all meet you know sing, singing so sok is let's all, all of us all of us yeah never you got it yeah thank you i we also know that you can sing also oh no, no i'll try i'll try i'm not a singer <laughs> <laughs> i i guess the best way to convey some messages are by singing okay yeah any any other now i have used the words earlier ye ye you know uh, ye is come i said ye ye anybody has questions regarding ye this is common you are asking somebody to come ye you see have you heard the song uh, nevil ye ye katri Hello. Yeah. No, I haven't heard. What? You haven't heard? It's one popular rendition. Ye ye. Come come, Katrina. We are saying. You know. Oh, okay, 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 okay. Henry is yeah, saying. Come come, Katrina. Okay. Ye ye ye, Katrina. He saying come, Katrina. She saying na na, Yamchina. See. The song goes like ye ye Katrina. She say na na yomchina. She that means no no I'll not come na na yomchina. You know so na na there is no no. Okay. Mm -hmm. I have used this uh, inference today na na ka no zo all these things. Uh, Uh, with the utility you know when you use with some kind of uh, adjustments even if you do slight errors then you somebody the opposite person is likely to correct you <coughs> yeah the earlier so you said something you said uh, okay in company see uh, somebody asked me how do you say okay in konkani somebody is asking how do you say okay in konkani we say zait 
जायत जायत ओके ओके या कोलिन यू आर टू बी अनम्यूटेड यू आर वेविंग एट मी बट Uh, yes, I, I yes. can hear you. Go ahead. Now, yeah. I I I want yeah, to know the word for letter. The word for letter is kagaz. Is it? A cut, cut. No, kagat. In in kagaz is Hindi. In Konkani we say kagat, kagat. K a g a t h. K a d a k a g a t h. Kagat, kagat. Kagat. Yeah, kagat. But you know, uh, let us say we have to tell. I I will write a letter. How? Kagat borita. I will write a letter. How? Kagat borita. I will write a letter. Only you got it. Kagat borita. Kagat. Kagat. Kata. When do you use? Sorry. Kata. When do you use? Can you spell Kata it? Dot. Ka. Kagat. Ka Kagat. Kagat is letter. Kagat. Ka Kagat. 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 Yeah. Kagat. You know how its pronunciation in Konkani is slightly, uh, you know, long. Kagat. Yeah. Kagat. I think Andy Norma wants to say something. Uh, yeah, Norma, go ahead. I want to ask you. When I said my yeah. my for mother, my maid, she's from Mangalore. Yeah. She said, "No, you must say Ave," and my is grandmother. Uh, <laughs> okay, you. My is mother-in-law. See, she's. I uh, see. I'm happy, Norma. There is somebody to correct you. See, Ave is a. Uh, literally meaning it muji avoy muji avoy is the appropriate she is right she is right but we say muji mai now mai is broad mai we say even to mother in law mai some people use it to grandmother if mother and grandmother are at home we say mama in english mama to mummy mummy to mother and my to grandmother but we we he muji mamma or he muji avoi you know avoi is correct absolutely that is another word but the same meaning my is commonly used he muji avoi sounds very nice you are you are talking about, you are introducing somebody your mother you say He, muji, avoid. She is my mother. Or if you say he, muji, my, it can infer the similar, but my can also infer that she is my mother-in-law. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Thank What you, Norma. Thank yes. you, Norma. Your your your. Uh, Maid from Manglo has done a great job. Okay, I must thank her. Yeah, yeah. Uh, go ahead. Nikhil. Oh, oh, Nikhil has left. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Please go ahead. You, I hope in the last uh, week you must have had umpteen chances to practice some something or other with somebody. Bear with me here. Uh, I am not the professor. I am just a common man, but I am trying to convey the basic meanings. Yeah. Somebody was mentioning another word for mother-in-law, but I thought it's uh, you mentioned sas, same like in Hindi. Sasu mai, sasu, sasu mai, sasu mai. Cut, cut short. Mai, mai is a broad word, a broader meaning word. Mother. Mother-in-law, grandmother, but uh, for in the uh, hinterland, hinterland in uh, South Kerala in Mangalore, my they address only to mother. Or grandmother, sometimes they say hardly my. 
Only my is correct it is. There is no confusion. Only my. Yeah. Hello. I guess now uh, you, if it is all right. Yeah, Colleen. Can, can you explain? Can you explain? Count, count, yeah. and try there. Yeah. Count, maka count naka. Yeah. Maka, uh, maka count uh -huh. naka. Is that correct? Correct. And try you, there. You, you, absolutely. Correctly, you sound. You, you spoke very nicely. Count naka. Maka count naka. I don't want to eat. Correct, it is. Maka count naka. Now, uh, Colleen, you want to say. Correct. Taka count di. Taka count di. Give him to eat. Give, give food eat. to her. Give to eat. Give food to her. Ah, yes. Give food to her. Taka count di. Let her uh, give something count. to eat. Count. Taka count. Taka count is count. Yeah. Count. Taka count di. Jong di. Taka jong di. Jong di is to. Jong di is for me, you know. Uh, the meal, a meal, you know, or either lunch or supper, or dinner, taka junk di. Whereas, uh, let us say there is something uh, that you want to give, uh, like a, for the poor person, the beggar there, taka kaung di. You know, give something, let him eat, you know. Taka give him kaung something. Di. Give him something, taka kaung di. Taka jump is specifically for lunch or dinner. Yeah. Yeah. Please go ahead. Please go ahead. And feel free, you can send me the audio clippings uh, on WhatsApp. I can try to answer your doubts. That's good. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And, uh, ladies and gentlemen, have you picked up some language till now? I can try to improvise further. If you have picked up basic nuances and utilizing the word. Just now, as Normam said, her, uh, you know, uh, domestic help quest, uh, corrected her. That is really heartening it's very nice somebody corrected because she used the word so like that use the words use small sentence uh, Neville has made a great effort uh, you know and he has sent me an audio clipping like that you can send and I can do the corrections if at all yeah if there's time, I think the time is already passed. You said maybe a little bit. A little confusing about the, I don't know, Kela, you said, and uh, the appreciate between banana, Kela, that little bit is a little the difference. <laughs> See, okay, Neville, Kela, Kela is banana. Kela means? Kela. You know how spell spell? Kela, le, le, Kela. Kela, okay. is banana, not Kela. Ah, whereas if you the same thing, kele is I ate. See, kele is banana. Kele is I ate. You know, kele. How many kele? I ate. Whereas kele is banana. See, I'll use the both the words. How many kele? Kele. I ate banana. How many I kele banana? Kele. I ate. Ave kele kele. I ate banana. <laughs> le le kele. For us, for us, initially, when we and start saying this word, it will sound as if we are stammering. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry. See, I am giving you. Ave kele kele. Uh, he ate banana. Tane kele kele. Uh, let us say Neville, Neville ate banana. Neville ana, Neville ana, Neville ana, kele kele. He ate banana. Kele is banana. Kele is ate. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Yeah.
Yeah, Dennis, anything? No, yeah. Well, ladies and gentlemen, uh, if there are no questions, Jane, Ajay, Hilma, uh, you can possibly give the closing remark for today. I have sent the uh, the words, the lessons by WhatsApp to all in the group. 